right, hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So let's get right into this video. Today I'm starting off using this new edge fixer that I got from Target. It's like this little mini travel edge control from Kiss. Um, just going to brush, slick my hair back before we install this unit. Now, I know we're wearing a wig, but make sure you get the back of your neck. It should be just as nice and neat as the front, you guys. And then I'm just gonna take my little edge brush and comb all the little hairs back. I don't do the bald cap method or anything, you guys. I just pop a um, wig cap on that's closest to my skin tone and I go about my business. So today we are working with this unit from Kriya Hair. They sent me this unit to review for you guys. This is their 13 by four curly unit in 20 inches. And I will put all the, all the details will be down below in the description box, like always for you guys. So I started off this unit with just popping it on my head. Y'all, I don't have, I don't know the last time I've worked with a lace front unit that I had to bleach or pluck or anything. So I just said, well, if I wasn't comfortable with doing that stuff, like I was when I was a newbie with wearing wigs, I did not bleach, I did not customize, none of that kind of stuff, how would it look? And this is, of course, you guys are gonna see and you just saw exactly how it came out, which I think it came out really well. I'm just doing my normal lay down here, just using my um, hairspray from TG, my blow dryer, and just getting this as melted as possible. So I'm doing a middle part today and you guys, I'm be honest, it took me a second to lay these edges. I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't done this in a while, but I wanted them to be a little bit more dramatic. And also with dealing with curly hair, I always do something a little bit more dramatic as far as my hairline goes than doing something more on the natural side. And plus it's just been a minute and I just wanted it to be, you know, a, a, a bit much. Sometimes we just wanna do the most. So I just pulled out four pieces, two at the top, two on the sides by my sideburns kept it very simple and I'm just gonna use my eyebrow razor to cut them and I always start off a little bit longer than I want them because you can always go back and cut more you can't add hair so I'm using this new um, gel that I've had for a minute from the hair diagram it's like an edge gel or lace glue whatever you want to call it and on this particular side I'm gonna use a combo of the gel and my um, design essentials foam to see how it holds. I was just very curious, wanted to switch it up. And this actually gave me a really good hold, you guys. No flaking, no nothing, it lasted all day. Um, so yeah, just wanted to just try it out. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna use the Design Essential. So I'm just doing a couple swoops here, gonna cut a little bit more. Um, this took me a second. Typically with curly hair, it's not as easy for me to lay uh, as like straight hair. Straight hair, of course, just lays and you're good to go. Curly hair, textured hair, of course, it wants to um, immediately curl back up once it gets some, you know, water, liquid something like that on it. But I made them extra dramatic. Yes, I did for a reason. They are not going to stay like that, but just trust me on this. Just just do the most on your um, hairline. It never has to be super perfect because I'm gonna show you how to get them um, a little bit more natural towards the end of this video. So this unit did come pre-plucked. However, it wasn't, um, you know, to my liking and what I am super used to. It could definitely use a little bit more, but it was not horrible. It wasn't bad. I'm definitely just used to a little bit more pluckage happening. So I always just cut a little bit of piece, like a little bit of piece, a little piece, like right in the front, um, just to kind of break up those hairs and just so that it's not so straight and so wiggy. You know, you do want to kind of see scalp, fake, it that kind of thing so that's why I added that little baby swoop just like on one side of my head so that you can see a little bit of scalp right there by the part so next going into this hair you guys after I've got my little edges laid let me tell you guys I was so excited about this hair one it's been a minute since I felt like I did something super curly like this in the lace front I was just 
definitely needed it um just definitely needed a switch up but this hair you guys was super soft the curls were absolutely beautiful once you um like of course comb the hair out like i'm doing here get some volume going and then i just did water and i added a little bit of mousse to my head and that was it the hair was soft it felt good it looked good but the little ringlets were just really really pretty you guys i was definitely surprised definitely excited happy the hair just made this whole look and as far as the cap size went it was just the little bit too small for me like I just needed maybe another half of an inch if that um, right especially right there in the front but I made it work like always and you could probably barely tell that it didn't fit it, it ended up working um, just fine so um, just taking that foam I'm actually using the Jew Poppin foam I will put it down below in the description box and make sure you are really saturating the hair if you're using um, any kind of styler and if you really want your curls to pop I used to make the mistake of not using enough and curly hair like this it needs the product you know it really needs the product in order for it to form those curls exactly how you want them and for them to stay so that's why you see me really work it in especially on the ends so the ends don't get frizzy just really work and really saturate the hair from root to tip So I just added a little bit of foam to the top of my hair and I'm just blow drying it down. I'm actually doing that to set the hair and to get it as flat as possible because I didn't want to use like a hot comb or anything like that. Um, and then I'm just going to diffuse the hair and y'all see the curls on this? Ah, so pretty. I was so excited at this point. I think I was listening to like Mary J. Blige or somebody, but I was like loving the turnout at this point, you guys. So just diffused for a bit and then I'm going to go into this, the finishing touches on this look. It probably sounds like I've done a lot, but I really haven't, you guys. This was super easy and very very quick extremely quick for me to do so adding a little bit of concealer to my part and then I'm going to take some powder and really kind of define those spaces where I want you guys to see more scalp or more brown this kind of breaks it up a little bit and will give that it's like uh, plucked or yeah, basically it's plugged, but it's really not. So I'm just adding a little bit of powder. It's just a great trick. And then I'm gonna lift those baby hair up as well. So this is why I do the most because you can always lift them up and push them back or style them even more how you want them. I'm just gonna take the brush part of my um, edge brush with a little bit of my styling wax and just brush a few of them back. And then you have something a little bit more wispy and a little bit more natural. And that was pretty much it for this look you guys i hope you enjoyed this i think kriya hair um if you can't tell by my voice i think they did a good job with this unit it's really pretty i was giving you guys or i was trying to give you guys vacation vibes and spring vibes as well with the sweater and the curls and the shorter hair i am ready for spring now that I am here on the East Coast, the spring, summer cannot come quick enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. All the information and products will be used down below in the description box. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.